Again, we have confirmed there is uh, one deceased person. Our gunshot wound total has went up to 22, and Chief Grundison will provide a little bit more context to that. Our uh, KCFD units, along with our mutual aid partners that were working to assist us at this event, touched a total of 22 gunshot victims. One of those was a fatality. Um, we had eight what we considered immediately life-threatening patients. We had seven with uh, life-threatening injuries, and we had six that were at minor injuries. We do have three persons detained and under investigation for today's incident. We are working to determine if one of the three are, are the one that was in that video uh, where, where fans assisted police. I don't have the exact on the weapons, but we have recovered firearms. I don't have a number for you or, or a caliber. We have recovered firearms, um, at least one. That's what happens with guns. I won't get in a big debate right now. I think we're still doing an investigation, but I mean, what you saw happen was why people talk about guns a lot. We had over 800 officers there, staffed, situated all around Union Station today. We had security in, in any number of places, eyes on top of buildings and beyond. And there still is a risk to people. And I think that's something that all of us who are our parents, who are just regular people living each day, have to decide what we wish to do about it. Parades, rallies, schools, movies, it seems like almost nothing is safe. And we had hundreds of law enforcement there working hard today. And I, wanna, I, I do want to echo the, what the chief said, who we are running towards danger. But in a matter of seconds, someone who wants to disrupt anything, someone who wants to create any type of situation, or someone who is very simply reckless, can change not just one life or two lives, but almost two dozen. And that to me is absolutely devastating. And it makes me feel vastly more concerned as a parent just in the world today thinking about that.